Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com and today we'll be covering the Heartbeat Control plugin. Heartbeat Control is a free Heartbeat WordPress Heartbeat Management plugin on the WordPress.org repository. What this plugin allows you to do is quite simple. It allows you to modify the WordPress Heartbeat API to reduce the number of times that it ticks. Now the first thing I always get asked is, what is the Heartbeat API? The Heartbeat API is basically, think of it as like a way to, for WordPress to ping the browser to see if it's still active. It's what allows the autosave functionality to really work. It knows, okay, this user's been on the page for, I've been checking it every, I think the default is around 30 seconds, so I've checked it twice, it's been two minutes, so I should now save the post again. This is basically just a means of limiting that and to control when it's allowed, because if you have a lot of users on the website, having a constant check for them can be quite slow. So this plugin allows you to very easily modify what, where it's allowed, not only where it's allowed to fire, but where it's allowed to be used. So you have three default options, the WordPress dashboard, the front end, and the post editor. The post editor is probably the primary, primary area that you're going to see this plugin in action. So that's typically where I wouldn't want to change the settings. You can actually override the the autosave functionality in WordPress if you really want to, but I would recommend allowing the heartbeat on those pages. If you're on a really bad shared server and you do notice that even in simple editing that your post, that your database or your site gets overloaded and either comes to a crawl or times out, you may want to try disabling the heartbeat in there as well. But typically what I end up doing is I end up disabling the heartbeat on the front end because it just isn't used that much. And then in the WordPress dashboard area, I modify the heartbeat API. And I typically can take it all the way up to 300 seconds because the rest of the dashboard isn't particularly going to get access to the heartbeat API. There's not a lot of autosave functionality and a lot of other checks that really need to happen. So what the override heartbeat frequency does is allows you to set an interval between 15 and 300. That interval is how long in between the heartbeat checks, the less intervals that occur, than the less resources that are used. So 300 is once every five minutes, and that's honestly not that often. And it's only in the WordPress dashboard that this setting is taking effect, but it doesn't take effect in the editor screen. So under posts and pages, this is not working. It's at the default interval. If you wanted, you could even modify the interval to your post editor screen, maybe to once every 30 seconds. And that'd be totally fine. Under the front end, as always, you can just disable it because in most situations, you don't have any front end editing or any front end functionality that's dependent on the heartbeat. If you're unsure and you have a very complicated website where users are interacting on the front end and you're not completely sure whether or not you should disable the heartbeat API, and then do what I basically did for the dashboard and go ahead and set it for the highest frequency once every five minutes. And then that should really avoid any breakage. And then once you hit save, the changes take effect. Now, the actual measurement of how this works is something that always gets asked. And it's really just going to require, it would require you to look into your server logs and to see if the WordPress heartbeat is being called and the interval and measuring the physical distance between the checks and it's honestly just not worth it. You could trust that the plugin's doing its job because if it wasn't doing its job, it wouldn't exist and it wouldn't be frequently updated. And that's really all that there is to for the Heartbeat Control plugin. It's a simple, quick solution to help reduce load on the website. If you have a question regarding the plugin, you can always ask in the comments below and I will try to help you out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.